So my friends, uh, in response to a couple of questions I've gotten both online and off, um, obviously you all, you all know I, I love, 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 love my tracks. It's a great car. Yes, yes. Um, somebody asked, were there a couple of things that I, you know, were, was there anything I missed with this car? Specifically, they asked the all-wheel drive. Well, it's only August, so no, I don't miss the all-wheel drive yet. We'll see how it goes in the, in the winter. Um, I always, on almost every car I've ever owned, had fog lights. This does not have fog lights. Now, daylight running, high and low beam LED headlight, really nice with automatic high beams, seems to work fine. Um, incandescent turn signal bulb, but no fog lights. And what I want to know is where would a nice set of aftermarket fog lights go on this? Where would they fit? Uh, would there be uh, an overseas market fog light cluster available? I don't know. But that'll be something down the road. Um, but there are a couple of little things. Um, the most important, honestly, is here in the center console. Now, I bought this thing on Amazon um, for nine dollars uh, this is not what's most important this is just a little padded leatherette and a little color you know I think it looks good with the uh, red piping and the red stripes believe it or not the best purchase I made for twenty dollars or eighteen dollars and change was this believe it or not Chevy doesn't give you one of these with the car and this has the little mats. But, you know, you're, you're running into the store. You don't want to take everything with you. Just put them there. You don't have to go, you have to go digging through all of that to look for something. Uh, and that was $20. Now, this was about 10 The only real... I, I put on these little strips of color here that a friend of mine gave me, actually. So I don't know what they cost, but I do know they are available on Amazon. Uh, but um, one of the biggest things you're going to want to do is that little um, tray in there, believe it or not. It's, it's, you know, and if you have a long trip with, a, you know, adults, two adults, uh, and I'm by a long trip, I mean anything over an hour or two. I don't mean cross country, although this would be good for cross country. There's no armrest. There's no armrest back here. There is overseas, and there are on almost every other small crossover in this segment, but it's not there. Now, I got nice little interior. You can buy a box that has cup holders and will sort of match this leatherette, and it's, I forget exactly what it is, $35 or $40. I'm holding off on that. We don't do a lot of road trips in this, but you never know. We might. Now, one thing that I thought was kind of goofy, but actually has been tremendous, is this little box here. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even know. It. Look, it has little Velcro pockets here on the end. But that's not... So, um, keeping all, like, the chemicals and car cleaning stuff back there, if I have something that uh, I want to keep separate, say food, I can put it in there. Right now, I have my little Mount Kisco Chevrolet. Thing. Um, the trunk is, is great, okay? But that thing keeps small items from rolling around. It keeps uh, po potential spills. You know, I've got my Windex and all my touchless car stuff there, my car towels. Um, this is under 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, this is the type of stuff that every new car owner. I mean, some stuff you're like, oh, well, that should come on the car, like the little tray. Um, and I get it. You know, they wanted to decontent this to bring it down to an uh, energy level price in the U.S. and everything. Um, and then, of course, the Buick and Vista that cost about $2,000 more than this is the luxury version of this. That is available with an electric hatch. So I would not be surprised in a year or two down the road, GM will bring that in in a new trim package, the active or above, or maybe a 3RS, I don't know. But uh, overall, there's not much, you're, you're not going to be, it's not fear of missing out on anything in this. 
Uh, now, admittedly, if you get the little rental car trim, you'll, you'll feel like you're driving a rental car. If you get the 1RS or the um, LT2, no, I forget. The 1RS or the Active or the 2RS, if you get the three nicer trims, you'll get a nicer car. Of course, that means that instead of paying 22, you're going to pay a minimum of 24, 23, and you're probably going to more be 25, 27. Uh, if you want, like, the moonroof and the charger, wireless charging and the safety stuff. Um, but it's the little things. It's, it's nothing major. Um, I, I, I think the number one accessories I would add would be the little tray, the big box in the trunk, and then future accessories for me are going to involve auxiliary lighting for the front. I just don't see where it could go. And that's a disappointment. I guess it could go down there, but uh, below the active shutter, there's no place to mount. I could, yeah, and I don't want to get any type of stupid bull bar or any type of... So it's a shame. No auxiliary lights on this because this is not a crossover an SUV. This is a station wagon. I don't want it to look like an off-road truck or anything. That's about the only thing that, that comes to mind right now.